hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x cubed divided by x plus x plus x is equals to 12 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root so uh, we move toward the solution of this problem uh, and now here the very first thing we are going to do is here first you see that this x is added by three times so uh, we add the coefficients of all of these three terms so the uh, coefficients are one then one plus one plus one becomes here three times of x and this whole equation is equals to 12. And now here further uh, in the next step uh, you see here uh, here we need more simplifications and now here we move this 3x from left hand side to the right hand side it is divided by here when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 12 and it will be written as x cubed is equals to 12 multiplied by 3 times of x and uh, further in the next step here uh, we just multiply the uh, similar terms so that we multiply 12 and 3 and 12 times 3 becomes here 36 times of x and in the left hand side we have this is x cubed and uh, further in the next step here we move uh, 36x from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x cubed minus 36x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here further in the next step you see here both of these two terms involve x so that we take common x from here and when we take common x we get the remaining values are uh, so when you take common x from here we get x square minus when you take common x from here we get 36 only and this whole equation is equals to 0 and uh, further in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square minus 36 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so this is the uh, first root of the given equation and from here uh, we need to find the other root so here we rewrite this equation as uh, this is x square minus we write this 36 as 6 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 so here we use the nice uh, famous algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so According to the pillow formula, we write our above equation as in this form. Uh, so first you have the factor is a minus b, the value of a is x minus, the value of b is 6 into, again we have the value of a is x plus the value of b is 6 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here further in the next step, we need to divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x minus 6 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x plus 6 equals to 0 so uh, from here we easily get the value of x is equals to 6 this is the second root of the given equation and from here we easily get the value uh, the third value of x and that is x is equals to minus 6 so here uh, we get uh, there are three roots of the given equation and these roots are 0 plus 6 and minus 6 okay these are the three roots which we get here in this method i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here further in the next step we need to verify that is these values of x or these roots are solution of given equation or is these roots are extraneous root so for verification of these roots uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is x cubed divided by x plus x plus x is equals to 12 so here in this side we will be verify x is equals to 6 and in this side we will be verify x is equals to minus 6 
so here first we verify both of these two values uh, so that we substitute both of these two values to the left hand side of the above equation uh, so here uh, when we substitute this value here it will be written as 6 cubed divided by 6 plus 6 plus 6 is equals to 12 or not this is the our claim and likewise uh, when you substitute minus 6 here it will becomes minus 6 cubed divided by minus 6 minus 6 and minus 6 and here we check that is this equals to 12 or not and uh, further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here and now uh, first we verify this value so if you uh, focus in the denominator terms here 6 is added by 3 times we write it as 3 multiplied by 6 is equals to 12 and here you see that this 6 and this 3 are cancelled out by each other and we get this is 6 square divided by 3 is equals to 12 and further in the next step uh, we need to move this 3 uh, from left hand side to the right hand side and you see here uh, this is 6 square and 6 square becomes 36 is equals to this is 3 times of 12 is equals to 3 2 is a 6 and 3 1 is a 3. So you again see here uh, both of the sides are equal so this means that uh, the value of x is equals to 6 is satisfied our given question statement so now here we move towards our second route uh, so from here you again uh, see in the denominator side and you see here in in this case minus 6 is added by 3 times so that we write it as 3 is multiplied by minus 6 and this is equals to 12 or not this is the our claim and further in the next step you see here this minus 6 is cancelled out by this one and we get minus 6 square is equals to here we multiply this 3 on 12 and it will becomes 36 so minus 6 square becomes 36 equals to 36 okay this means that the second value of x is also satisfied our given equation both of these two values are solution of the given equation and now here we move towards our third value and our third value is x is equals to 0 uh, so we substitute x is equals to 0 into the left hand side of the given equation so it will be written as 0 cubed divided by 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equals to 12 or not and here you clearly see that this will become 0 over 0 form and this is not equals to 12 okay and in other words you say that 0 over 0 form is usually called that it is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is undefined so if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal then we can conclude about that x is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay because it does not satisfy our given equation then finally we have the solution set of the given question is uh, plus minus 6 okay this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.